In this video, we are going to see how we can divide numbers by 1. The question here is 8 divided by 1. To solve this question, we need to make one set. And we have to distribute the number 8. Since we have only one set here, all the balls we are going to distribute are going to come within the same set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now to find the answer we see what is the set size. There is one set and in that set there are 8 balls. So the set size is 8 which is our answer. 5 divided by 1. The second number here, the divisor is 1. So we need to make one set. The number we are going to distribute is 5. We have only one set. So we are going to put the number 5 in here. We are going to make all our balls in here because there are no other sets. The answer is the set size. There is only one set and the set size is 5. So that's our answer. 14 divided by 1. We are going to make one set and we are going to distribute 14. Since we have only one set over here, we are going to put the number of the 14 balls within it. The answer is the set size which is 14. When we are dividing numbers by 1, the answer is the same number. That is a pattern that we can notice. If you divide 24, with 1, the answer is going to be 24 because there is going to be only one set and all the numbers are going to go within that set. So if you have, for example, 30 balls and you have to put it in one container. So all the 30 balls are going to go in that container. So the container is going to have 30 balls. So as a rule and as a pattern in math, whenever the divisor is 1, the answer is the same number. Whether the number is a big number or it is a small number, 4 divided by 1 will be 4. Now we are going to see what happens when the divisor, the number we are dividing by, is 0. So let's take an example. 8 divided by 0. And this is what we are going to solve. So we have 8 things to distribute. And we have to distribute them among 0 people or 0 boxes. So... When we look at the second number here, we see we have to make zero sets. When we make zero sets here, which means nothing, what is going to be the set size? The set size is also going to be zero because there were zero sets and the set size is zero. So the answer is zero as well. If we take an example, we have 12 balloons. And we have to distribute the 12 balloons among 0 children. So how many balloons did the children get? Since there were 0 children there, there were 0 balloons they got. So the answer is 0. Whenever in math a number is divided by 0, the answer is always 0 because we make 0 sets here and the set size is also 0. 22 divided by 0 is going to be 0. If we take, for example, 75 divided by 0, the answer is going to be 0. 1 divided by 0, again the answer is going to be 0. Whatever number we take, if it is divided by 0, if the divisor is 0, the answer is also going to be 0. There are going to be 0 sets that we make, and the set size is also going to be 0.